guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be doing a video talking about Stranger Things Season 2. So basically, I will start off with some non spoilery thoughts and then get into some spoilers. And I won't be going through every single event from the show because that would take a long time. But I just want to talk about it and I just finished it last night. I'm really emotional. I might not look it, but I'm, I was torn up last night <laughs> over this show. So let's talk about non spoilery stuff. That's not going to spoil season one either. Yes. If you don't know, Stranger Things. I'm not gonna sit here for four minutes and explain the show, but it's amazing. Um, it has some like sci-fi elements to it. It has like a this contemporary feel, like we get a really good insight into the characters, but there's this sci-fi element to the show, which I love. Um, it's very interesting. It's definitely worth the watch if you haven't watched it already. And the characters are amazing. I love the writing, I love the acting, and I love the cinematography of the whole show. Two for me wasn't a letdown. Season one was good. It's the original, like it's the staple, but season two was really special. And Though I think some episodes of season one were better than season two, sort of. Like, really depends. Like, season two was really promising. It, I thought it was really well done. I love the character development. I can't tell you how much these characters developed in season two, and the cinematography got so much better. I like the little clips that they added. Like, there was one where it was like during a creepy scene, you saw the tap and the water would just drop. And it was just, you would hear the sound, like it was just so nicely shot. And I was like, yes. I also like the little, obviously the little spins they put in the show. And just watch season two, episode one. Like obviously if you've seen season one. And it just is so good. It's so good. So now we're gonna talk about spoilers. Let's get into it. <laughs> So we start off season two, episode one, with that new girl who's number eight. So 008, she has that tattoo on her. I absolutely love that beginning scene. Like I saw it several times um, with the robbery sort of scene where that whole squad of outcasts just goes and basically we discover later that eight, I don't remember her actual name, but eight, her ability is to make people see things that are not there so during that scene what she did with the cops when she made it look like a huge thing went down and then the cop slammed on the brakes and they all hit each other when it was it, and it wasn't actually there that sort of thing so that was really interesting i thought the fact that they added those characters in was pretty smart and i really want to see them again in season three so i hope they show up in season three so the other obviously we have 11 which from season one I was like even talking to my brother about it. I'm like, she ain't dead. Like, are you kidding me? No. Um, and at the end of season one, Hopper leaves that little bin out with the egos in the middle of the woods, which yes. So basically we discover that he's been taking care of her. He's been helping her. He's been, they've been living in the same thing. He's been looking after her. And Eleven looks so adorable. I like when she had her little like overalls on and her like brown curly hair. It was so nice to see her hair grown out when it wasn't like a wig. So I was just like, yes, like I love seeing Eleven. Um, you know, and we discover who she really is. So her real name's Jane. We discover that her mom, oh, there's so much happening. Oh my God. And they were both taken away from her. And then when she woke up in the hospital, like I think it was Brenner who, um, papa who took the kids away and they put them in this rainbow room and the mother was like no i saw i saw the kid crying like no they like she lived and they're like no she didn't make it and so that just sent her into a spiral her whole life and she's stuck in this chair just saying like rainbow room and then they like zapped her too like it was an aggressive scene like that was pretty hard to watch as well like her mom in that state of mind but the little scene with like eleven and her sister was just so just 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 great <laughs> 
it was so nice to see and it was nice that she found someone that was like her and I again hope they reunite in season three because I would love to see more of them together and I just thought like Eleven made the right move going back. I was going to be a little upset if she stayed with them because you know they obviously needed her back in Hawkins um but talking about the people in Hawkins we have our squad so we end the season off with Will and he's puking this little slug thing from obviously the upside down probably which yes into the sink and from then on there's so many th I was conspiring <laughs> like what is this I was thinking like it's gonna like it's still a part of him and then we see like his drawings which those were so interesting to me I don't know why but the like his drawings of the shadow monsters and then the fact that he later becomes like the monster becomes a part of him and it was so like when he had those episodes were so like they were well done like obviously like um the acting was great the like the effects were great like i'm so impressed with the actual production of this show but also the fact they were just they were really emotional scenes that were really hard to watch especially that scene near the end where they're trying to burn the thing out of him and he's shaking and like jonathan was crying and nancy was crying and i was like <laughs> but yeah so mike ends up getting the thing out of him but not mike will get ends up getting that thing out of him but then at the end you think it's a happy ending and then it just swoops the other way into the upside down you see the monster again and i'm like you kidding me you kidding me so interesting okay then we also have mike who i love mike he's got to be my fave um i like i think that kid is so talented i cannot believe like his age and how much he's accomplished he's placed he's like the major dude in stranger things and he's also he also played a big role in the it movies so seeing him like a young kid he does such a good job like I'm so impressed by him. Like he's such a talented kid. And then we have um, Lucas who, he was never my favorite. Like, I don't know. He seemed like, well, I don't know. Like in season one, he didn't really like Eleven. And then season two, he was obviously a bit better, but because she wasn't <laughs> like, whatever. But then we have Dustin who I think is the cutest little child I've ever seen in my life. I think he was, he's the cutest out of the group. And I love at the end when, um, What's his face? Harrington gives him advice on his hair and he goes to the snowball and he has his hair done up all nice and then everyone rejects him but then Nancy dances with him and it was just the cutest thing and then when Eleven met up with Dustin again and she's like, you have teeth! And he's like, yeah, look at these pearly whites! And he makes that noise with his mouth and everyone's like, don't do that! It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, and then we have Max, which I thought that was a nice addition to the show. I'm glad they brought more characters into this season. I really like the characters that were brought into this season. Um, Max and her brother, her stepbrother Billy, which Billy was obviously an asshole, but he had he was quite the charmer. Like, did you see him with Nancy's mom? Like, oh my god! And then Nancy's mom was reading that romance like novel in the bathtub, and the guy on the cover had like long hair just like Billy did, and I was like, oh my god. Um, but Max, I really liked her. I'm glad they kind of made her part of the group. Um, in a way, like, I don't know. She was fine. But, like, I'm glad she was there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then Lucas and Dustin both liked her. But I'm glad um, Lucas ended up with her. Because I think, like, I don't know. I just like that connection that they had when they were talking on top of the building when they were hunting down the Demogorgon together. And I was like, cute. Yes. Um... <laughs> I always felt bad for Dustin though. I'm like, you poor little angel. Like, I feel so bad. Um, but yeah. And then, who else? We obviously have Eleven. We have Hopper. Oh my god, talking about Joyce. That actor, this actress, she's amazing. Like, I give her so much credit because, not to mention in season one, how just well her acting was to season two. Like, her scenes are great. She acts like that really scared, paranoid, but really caring mother. Like she's really worried about her kid, which any mom would be, I assume. So, um, hopefully, <laughs> but you can just tell how much she cared about her kid and she had to make decisions and she had to take risks. And 
um, she had that relationship with that guy named Bob, which I was actually, for most of the thing, I'm like, they're gonna break up. Like, I, I don't really care about him, but he grew on me and I liked his relationship with um, Will and it was just cute. Like, he was just a little angel, too. And the fact that he died at the end got me really upset. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? But now, then, the, then after he died, I'm like, does that mean Joyce is gonna be with Hopper now? <laughs> because they do have a connection. So I'm like, yes. Um, also along with Hopper, that, he does a lot. <laughs> like, he was looking after Eleven for a long time. He looks after Will. Like, he has major connections with everybody. So this guy has incredible strength because most people would just like leave town <laughs> and then there's him and he like goes in, he digs a hole and he goes in and then ends up in like the upside down kind of connect thingy. Like, you know what I mean? So that was really interesting. <laughs> Who else? Who else? J oh my God, Jonathan and Nancy and Harrington. Okay, Harrington, the development though. I hated him in season one. Like, I'm like, you're good looking, but you're annoying, like leave. Um, season two, I loved his development. It made, like, it, it made us get a side to him that's more than just his looks and getting a girl and whatever. We really saw like how he was with kids and like he was a really good babysitter and he was really funny and he was really, really adorable. Not gonna lie, he's very good looking. Um, especially with him and his baseball bat full of nails and he's like whipping it around and he's getting ready and I'm like, yes. And yeah, so part of me was sad about Nancy, but I like what that guy said when Nancy and Jonathan met up. Um, he killed me. Like, the guy with the beard was me. Like, he killed me. And he's just like, yeah, you like him, but you don't love him. But on Jonathan. <laughs> and then Nancy's just like, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like Harrington. I hope he finds someone special in the next season, hopefully. Um, and then along with Nancy, her and Jonathan finally got together, which I've been waiting for. I have been waiting, which I think Jonathan is the cutest dude in the show because he's just such a little deer. And I saw this comparison of him and Jughead. I'll try to find it. But it was like, I love when, like, it was like this thing when Jughead's saying that he's a loser or whatever. And then it shows to the other one that's Jonathan. And he's like, um, like, yeah, I'm a freak. We're all freaks. Like, why would you want to be anything other than, like, why would you want to be normal? And it was just so cute. I love Jonathan. He's the cutest little thing I've ever seen. And Nancy, I also really like. I think she has a lot of guts and she really takes care of the kids. And I just admire, I just admire all of them. They're all great. So yeah. So again, that ending scene with the snowball scene. Oh my God, no. When, <laughs> switching it up, when Eleven, came in with all the Demogorgons and she was in her makeup and like the hair and I was like, yes girl, kill them. And she was just, I just love that scene so much. And then when she's in the car with Hopper, he goes, why do you look like a punk from MTV? <laughs> I'm like, me. <laughs> I'm like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So, um, and then at the end, what happens is you know, they're at the snowball, which that's one of the cutest things ever. I felt so bad for Dustin though, but I really like that Nancy danced with him. Um, you saw Harrington as he looked at Nancy and he kind of like, he looked at her with love and affection and then he drove away, right? He's gonna let her be, which I feel bad for him. But on the other hand, I'm like, Jonathan, Jonathan. But then with the snowball, um, Lucas went to dance with Max. Um, who is it? Will went to dance with some random girl. I don't even know who the hell she is, but I was like, oh, okay, have fun. Um, and then Mike was standing there all alone because Lucas went to dance and then Dustin went to dance with Nancy. And then poor little Mike was all alone. And I'm like, where's Eleven? Get, get Eleven. Where, where is she? Where is Jane? <laughs> and then she walks in and I'm like, yes. <laughs> and they start dancing and I'm like, the ultimate OTP like the ultimate couple is here and like the fact that he went on this thing every day on the radio and like talked to her every day I'm like yes um <laughs> so emotional so emotional I know um <laughs> I was gonna say something else um also with the show 
I give them so much credit for the music considering this is not set in like the 2000s so I'm really happy it's not because I the last thing I want to hear is pop music and really basic music that I hear on the radio on like in my shows or in movies which I hate but whatever um so I love that this show has actual like good music <laughs> oh the shade okay I, but no like it's just my opinion but I love that this show has older music in it obviously and that it's like I enjoy the background music and I think with the whole like walkie talkie things adds a lot on um, the fact that they don't have cell phones. Um, I really love it. I think it really adds a lot to the show and they were smart to keep it in that setting in that time period. But yeah, Stranger Things season two was really solid, really solid. Like the last five episodes, I was just, no, the last three or four episodes, I was just lying in bed and like watching it like dead. <laughs> but yeah. I was really impressed. Let me know your thoughts on uh, season two down below. Um, I don't know if they've gotten renewed for a third season, but they probably will because of how well this show does. Um, but if there is going to be a second, third season, which there better be or else I'm going to be upset, <laughs> um, then I'm really looking forward to seeing how these characters are going to develop, how the upside down is going to play into the third season and all that sort of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys very soon with a new video.